All right, it's September 17th, and I'm going to give an update of my controller project. Um, I use shielded cable on everything to eliminate uh, EMI. Um, everything, every shielded cable is grounded to earth. And separate power supplies, 24 volt for running the controller and the optical switches and, and whatnot. 36 volts for the motor drivers themselves. Uh, being uh, this is Y, this is X, this is Z, and this is B, which is slave to Y. Uh, earth ground connector. I have one on every side of this machine. Um, that is the relay that triggers the plasma machine, which will connect to my torch height controller that I designed. Um, everything that is grounded, the case, another earth ground, positive and negative, 24 volt, earth ground, and this is where the Maso controller will connect. All these will be connected and tucked away once that happens. Um, USB interface so I can plug in wireless keyboard and mouse. Um, so everything is pretty much done in here except for the plasma torch which I'll wait until I get the controller back or the new replacement actually. Um, here you can see the Z and X axis connectors and as well as the Y and the slave B. Uh, these are for probes. You can see touch off is uh, how it locates the top of the plate, metal plate, that is put on the plasma table. So it knows where and how far to lift for a pierce cut and to lower down to a cut height and cut out the part. Uh, four optical probes for each axis, including the B slave. Um, this, by the way, is for soldering irons. This is how you clean them nowadays. I think it was six bucks. Anyway, wireless keyboard and mouse configuration. This is the torch height controller I designed that utilizes USB uh, connector. I still have to wire that up to this device through the USB here connector and then this will get wired to positive and negative an earth ground for the cable um, and then the rest of it will go to the muscle controller which will be here okay that's that this is the table um, I rewired it today using uh, double shielded uh, cabling which I had to do the double shield this braided wire that goes on the outside of the cable acts as a secondary or a primary shielding so all the wires are done shielded so that the plasma arc itself will not admit interference into the wiring or very minimal if any with double shielding um, you can see it goes to every motor. Um, so every motor here, the Z-axis, as well as the touch-off um, sensor, so it can find the depth of the metal. All that fit into the cable chain. Um, this is the transmitter for the HDMI that I use, which will attach to the top of the controller. Um, I will finish wiring this up tomorrow. Um, that's the receiver up there for the um, HDMI, which plugs right into the uh, flat screen. Okay, so um, I think that's it. That's my update. All right, have a good day. Bye.